Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today we are putting underskirting on a house. So this one's just basically going to be putting mobile home underskirting on a stick built house. So let me get you down here. If you guys have watched my previous video, you probably see me give an estimate for this. But we got a little bit to dig down this side. Not far, about to the edge of that window. And then all the way around, you can see some of it's already started to tear out. And then on that side of the porch. So I've got you guys kind of set up here. And I'm going to get all my tools and stuff all out and ready. And we'll get going. All right. So we got that all dug out. And all the old taken out. All the old taken out the front. All the way down. And quite a bit down the other side. Uh, we can walk down there and I can show you. Got about half of this side stripped, with the exception of the top lap. As you can see, the vinyl is coming away. This house is, I don't know how to explain it. It's not much. It's just wrapped in some vinyl. So, I'm going to have a hard time finding things to attach to. There's a lot of rot. There's a lot of missing. But... That's what I'm here for. But, it is muggy out here today. And as you can see, I'm already sweating. And I'm only about 45 minutes into this. But that's the hard work. Now comes the just the easy setting down and getting this all screwed to the side and then running bottom channel and blah, 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 blah. So basically what I'm going to do is, I'm in about five minutes, I'm gonna run to the dollar store and get some rags to keep my I got one to keep my hand clean but now it's all muddy I need something to keep my face and neck unsweated is unsweated a word but anyways um, I'm gonna get that take a quick break I brought some cold water yes water not Pepsi so let me get all that taken care of and I'll bring you guys right back all right, this is going to be a crazy video because one time you guys were faced one way, one time you're faced another way. Anyways, I got rained out, but it only rained for about an hour, hour and a half. So I'm running, oh, I don't know, about three hours behind schedule, which is fine. I don't have to worry about it. I did get all this done all the way around. Uh, let me turn the alarm off on my phone. Let me go back over here in the shade where I can actually see. There we go. Sorry about the interruption there. But anyways, um, this is what we've got so far. It's not done, and it's already dirty because it's been raining. And the rain just kind of throws dirt up on it out of the flower beds not too bad on this side I got to work on the vinyl siding as you can see the vinyl siding sticking out and I don't know if you guys can see under there there is no starter strip so I'm not sure how they had it on there I think they just had it caulked to the I, I'm not really sure <laughs> anyways it's hot out here people it's beyond hot that's what it looks like down this side like I said you can't go by the vinyl siding up here because it's not right there is starter strip on this end but it's out of the starter strip and I'm gonna see if I can't fix that but as you can see I had to spend a lot of my time just moving stuff they People don't move anything for you. They think you owe it to them to move it for them, I guess. So I've already tore some of them out over here. Uh, it's just quite frankly, it's so hot, I'm done. Even though back in here is in the shade, my shirt is soaked. And I did start getting stuff. Like I said, all this was all around the house. You can see how they've just got stuff kind of piled under there. Well, all that stuff's got to come out because you can see it's pushing the underskirting out. 
and once again we have vinyl siding or yeah vinyl siding that is not attached to anything at the bottom not sure how I'm gonna go about fixing that but I will try even though I'm not I'm not liable for that but it makes my job look bad so I see I have one more hole to cut there that's gonna be hidden fairly easy one over there that's going to be hidden fairly easy i am running all the if you guys looked at the previous video if i showed this side of the house there was a bunch of wire run on this side of the house and i hid it all so anyway so we went from that how nasty that looks and all tore up and a bunch of it missing now i did take a couple pieces out of here but the rest of it was missing i've not done anything to the back other than pull out the bricks and stuff so you can see there's a big 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 difference um, it looks good I'm happy with it so far uh, still got plenty of material left they still got a lot of stuff to get rid of I've got uh, some pieces back in here I'm gonna pick up real quick uh, I'm not gonna get rid of them because I do believe that those will work down here at this end Yeah, everything was going really good until it rained. It was nice and cool out. And then it started sprinkling and I kept working. And then all of a sudden it just downpoured. And so I gathered up my tools and head for higher ground, so to speak. Went home, got a drink of water. Well, I brought water with me, but I went home, got another drink of water. And just kind of kicked back and relaxed for oh, about 30 minutes. And then I had a couple errands to go do. I went and did that. And then I come back over here. And it was muddy. It was hot. It's muggy out. And before I said muddy, not muggy. It was muddy and muggy. So I'm just kind of looking around. Looks like there used to be a door there. If you guys look right there. And they patched the underskirting in or the uh not underskirting i'm sorry the vinyl siding and i would say that's a bathroom window and i do see plumbing up underneath and they do want me to check the plumbing to make sure it has good heat tape on it it does not look like it has any but i haven't gotten that far yet so i'm hoping to be able to tuck all these wires in make all this look better i do see where i'm out right here and one of the problems that i had with is they've just leveled this house. Oh, it was able to go back in. I think it just had popped out. I think it was the... Yeah, look how much better that looks. But anyways, I think it was the uh, skirting that had popped out. I thought it was the bottom channel. But what I've run across is there's a bunch of these bricks underneath there and they've got the house setting up on it. And they didn't quite go back as far in as they should have to help me and i had to work around these three big bolts here sticking through the wall not sure what they are and he also in between the two bolts he wanted an access panel so i did that i do believe I've, i'm all cleaned up i got the truck running i got the air on um i'm not moving that anymore i moved it right there to the center that's as close as i'm going to get the foam and stuff i did move over here so i'm hoping in the morning it should be nice and shady over here the worst would be right there right there and that's a 30 minute job i'll be over to here so it's going to be a little hard as you can see that underscreen is going to have to lean because then blocks there on the corner they don't think of stuff like that when they block these houses and as you can see there's no foundation under this house most of the houses here at the lake don't have foundations. They're just up on blocks. I've seen them last. Well, you can tell by looking at this, this house is old. So it's lasted 100 years at least. So I think that's just about it. Like I said, I'll take you around and let you look one more time. Look how nice and clean my holes for everything are.
like I said, the vinyl siding here is sticking out. I'm going to try to fix that tomorrow. Like the corner trim there is all messed up. Look at that. It's all broke. Nothing I can do about that. I'll just try my best with it. This all turned out pretty nice. It's dirty. That I don't like. And I will probably try to bring me a rag tomorrow to wipe it all down with. But all the way. We're over to here, and I don't know if you guys seen it this morning. Yes, I started on this job at about 7.30, 8 o'clock this morning. Uh, I had to dig all that out to get some in there. Now it just looks used. I don't like that. Anyways, with all that being said, you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like the video. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And once you do, hit that bell notification and go all the way up to the top and hit all so you'll be notified on every single video that that we post and i'm sorry i'm i'm seeing two different numbers on my camera here one says 3231 one says 835 anyways uh share us on your social media pages follow us on facebook under general vlog video and when i ask you to subscribe it's not like a magazine subscription it's 100 percent free does not cost you a dime it just helps our channel grow just like a thumbs up helps our channel grow with all that being said i hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and we will see you on the next video and that's it i don't i i'm my own camera guy but you guys can't tell that we'll see you on the next video have a super great day